Before we start, I would just like it to be known that if you want to start doing something towards improvement, you just need to start doing it, honestly. I hear the argument of, Oh, I've been doing it this way for years, but I feel like sometimes I should start doing it this way to make my life easier. But if you really want to change for the better, you just need to start. Brian Tracy has a fantastic quote that reads, The hardest part of any important task is getting started on it in the first place. Once you actually begin work on a valuable task, you seem to be naturally motivated to continue. This quote is super useful to keep in mind when moving forward and watching this video, because it is one thing to learn about something, but it is an entirely different thing to put effort and motivation into actually doing the thing that you learned about. Which is why a lot of self-help books just give people a false sense of progress instead of actual trackable progress. This information is useless unless you plan on doing something with it. With that being said, let's go on with the video. I've seen a lot of people ask me about how to get better or ways to quickly improve. Improvement might not always be super fast and oftentimes it really can't be, but I've got a few tips that I've learned over time. And who knows, maybe you'll learn a thing or two. To start off with, learn to fail. Now, improvement can be brutal sometimes, and maybe you find yourself in a position of giving up because you don't show immediate progress that you want to see. But learning to fail and move beyond what that failure is at face value will keep your motivation up. It is important to keep moving forward regardless of what you've lost. That includes maybe a May knight that died to a stupid purple mushroom because of summons that you couldn't see. <gasps> Sometimes you'll die, and if you watch back your death, you might see this huge lag spike that happens right before the kill screen. So learn about the difference between your server side and your client side player. When your death happens on server side, it takes a second for your client side to actually tell you that you're dead. This isn't really a tip for improving literally, but to get over deaths that seem like BS, this can clear up some confusion. So if you see someone on Clipex dying to what seems like something that should be unfair, look around them and see if it actually is unfair or if it's just fair. Oh. Died. I died. <laughs> also, if you're someone who works uh, at DECA, and it would be really nice to have everything based off of client side, just from a casual experience, but there are a lot of cheaters and shit servers, so I understand why it needs to be on server side. So it's sort of just unfortunate that we can't have nice things. But, you know, everyone else just has to kind of get used to this system, I guess. You can abuse this for some funny things as Crate Killer slash Charizard demonstrated with Armor Crumples in 03. So, whatever, there's that too. If you're in the position of dying frequently, make an idiot character that is used specifically for farming pots for other characters. This will get you back on your feet quicker, as running and clearing dungeons on an 88 character is a lot faster than if you just weren't. So it's worth the investment because over time you'll regret not having one. Unless you only do PPEs, then like, fucking whatever. Look for patterns. Basically every shot has a pattern of some kind, whether it be a straight line, a spiral, an 8, or a weird atom looking pattern. Learning these patterns makes things incredibly easier. For example, Pop Rocks and NBC shoot 8 shots in 45 degree angles in a fixed pattern, so they're not targeted. So you can also stand super close to these rocks if you know these angles. Fun fact, Exalted Orcs 3 has the same pattern for the meteor explosions, so if you look around you can position yourself based off the meteors. Find out what you can and cannot take. A lot of times, this game being a bullet hell game, can get overwhelming with all of the shots that are on the screen. If you tend to get stressed from all of the shots on the screen, sometimes just dodging the more deadly shots will prove to be easier and less stressful. Higher value shots to dodge are those that can either do a lot of damage or give you a debuff that hurts you the most. So for Sea Shield Knight, that would be along the lines of quiet and silencing shots, since you don't really take damage when Sea Shield is active, but you need to have your mana for a Sea Shield. This one is a bit more used now that pets don't heal you constantly, but abuse HP and MP potions. Sometimes you will get into a situation where you're going to die, but if you just had a convenient 100 more HP, you would live. But think about if you've widened that threshold to 600 HP. Who knows, but honestly, 
I only put it here because I see too many people die with 22 HP pods in their inventory and just like, don't use them. So just, just use them. Screen rotate and offset your camera. This one is more of a preference thing for most, but the more useful information you are exposed to and can see, the easier you can make judgement calls on what you want to do. So for example, if you're doing a dungeon that you're clearing entirely, there isn't really a point to keep looking at things behind you anymore, so offsetting your camera looking towards the uncleared parts of the dungeon can really help you out with knowing what's ahead of you. View camera rotate, this one might come as a shocker, but increase your camera rotation speed. Default camera rotation speed is fairly slow to accommodate for what people need. I got fed up with this when I was learning Go3 because I couldn't really comfortably rotate my camera with Oryx during auto rotations. So I sped up my camera rotation and I realized that it made massive areas of improvement towards different areas of the game. Though this one isn't entirely something that is common across all players. If you speed it up, you also lose control for perfect angles and everything like that. So if you prefer to play with the ability to make everything straight lines, then you either need to learn to control the camera. I just tried to say faster and camera at the same time. Uh... So if you prefer to play everything with the ability to make everything straight lines, then you either need to learn to control the faster camera rotation speed, or just don't speed it up. So coming from personal experience, it isn't too bad to adjust the faster camera rotation speed if you want those perfect angles. Last tip I have for you is really for everyone since I know a lot of people don't want to play this game and only really play it because it's the only game their computer can run, but if you have a computer that can handle it, clip moments you think are important. If you don't know what a clip is, it's basically a replay of what happened. So for example, this is your NVIDIA Shadow Play and the Instant Replay, or if you have a software for it, Streamlabs OBS has a replay buffer and some other things that you might use could also have clipping tools. Anyways, clipping moments is a good way to learn from either your mistakes or your great plays. You can see why something went horribly wrong, but you can also see why something went unexpectedly well. You can see what you could have done in that situation as well, and then apply what you learned from that to any future instances of that situation. Anyways, I think that was like 9 tips or something that I gave. Uh, that's really all I have for you for now. Um, but I hope this helped someone out there. But honestly, as I said before, you kind of need to do something with the information that I'm giving instead of just not doing anything. So, you know, take this video for what you will. It's not really my room to tell you what to do, but happy playing realm, if that's what makes you happy. Also, if you did or didn't learn anything from this, I would really appreciate a subscriber because I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers so that I can like make community posts so that I can chip post. Um, but I guess that isn't really a big meaningful goal. So like whatever, do I'm not your boss, do whatever. Orb. Orb. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> You're so bad.